hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can see by the title it's a little different from what i usually do on this channel in today's video i'm going to be giving y'all some tips on how to know if a dude is just really not feeling you or if he feeling you and you might be wondering like well you're a girl so how do you know this and because like as you go on in life you can tell when somebody actually likes you versus they just like they playing so i was like let me help the girls out getting these tips if by any point of this video you sit there and you're thinking about somebody and you like hmm this sounds like him it might mean i'm sorry to hurt your feelings but it might mean he's just not into you but let's get right into it so i would say the number one red flag that a guy is really not into you is if he knows nothing about you like somebody that really likes you is gonna try to get to know you and i'm not just talking about know your name and know where you're from i'm talking about a dude that actually likes you is gonna want to know like your hobbies your favorite food your where you want to travel to different things like that and also when you tell them these things they're gonna remember them somebody that doesn't really care is not gonna care what you're talking about and I'm like even for for us girls if we don't like a dude we really don't care what he likes or any of that and some people are like hard with getting to know people anyways maybe they're shy or whatever but even a shy guy is gonna still try to get to know you if this guy is not trying to get to know you he you ask him what your favorite color is and he don't know and you told him like three times something's not adding up if he don't know your favorite food how he gonna take you out on a date somewhere and he don't know what you like so yeah, if he's not trying to get to know you, he doesn't know anything about you, and you know a whole bunch about him, you're in it way deeper than he is. He is not taking it as serious as you're taking it, and you need to fall back. Now, the second thing that I feel like is a red flag, if a guy does this, is if he tries to hang with you, but he wants to hang with you in private. Like, he doesn't want to take you out. He wants to... Or if he does take you out, he gonna take you somewhere where like not too many people gonna see y'all. Or like, he might be like, oh, well, let's just go take a ride, but not go nowhere. Or let's just go chill at my house, but not go nowhere. That's a red flag. And also, if a dude is doing that, he, he might like you like this much, but he has another reason why he's talking to you and we know that reason but sometimes some people just like when you like somebody you like push stuff to the side but that that's a red flag run because he he is not looking for a relationship with you what he is trying to do is get in your cookie jar i tried to put it as nice as i could if you don't know what i'm talking about then you might be too young to even be doing any of that so like but girls y'all know what i'm talking about you know what the cookie jar is or the pocketbook or whatever you know the sugar whatever whatever your grandmas or the older people called it growing up but yeah he he trying to get in the cookie jar and if you want to just pass your cookies out to everybody then that's on you but i ain't that type of person so if somebody is doing that I gotta fall back, you know what I'm saying? Cause that ain't me. Never was, never will be. But yeah, like I was saying, if they don't wanna be seen with you and everything is private or sneaky and y'all link late and all that type of stuff, yeah, girl, he just won one thing. And you got that choice to make. Take your own advice. Take my advice too though. Because I'm saving y'all. I'm trying to save y'all. Okay. Okay. So this third one. This is how. This is where respect comes into play too. Because this this third one right here. 
it's super duper important to me, okay? If y'all don't pay attention to nothing else, this third one right here, that will ruin a lot. Okay, third tip or third thing is when he talks to other girls, the same way he talking to you though. Like if he has multiple girls feeling like they gonna be in a relationship with him, he's a player and you need to just end it there. Um, if he, if you like see him and he like hugged up around some girls or girls trying to hug him, they all cheesing in his face and stuff, he cheesing back. Yeah, you need to go the other direction, period. Like, that's just one thing I don't like. I don't play. Me, when I'm talking to somebody, I try my best to respect them and to not, you know, do things that I feel like they wouldn't like. So, I feel like a dude wouldn't want you all hugged up with all these other dudes, all in these other dudes' face. So, why should you do it? And if he's doing it, he don't respect you. He don't respect whatever relationship you thought y'all had. He, no, he don't respect you. If you respect somebody, you're not about to just be in everybody's face. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be that person that's like, no, he can't have no friend girls or none of that. Because I feel like if everybody knows their place and that what it is and what it's not going to be, then everything runs smoothly. If he is entertaining other females while talking about he wants you to be his girlfriend, let him go. Now you guys, the fourth thing, this is basically screaming, I don't want you or I'm not taking you serious. Is if a guy tells you that they're not ready for a relationship. But, get ready for the but. They're not ready for a relationship, but they expect you to do relationship things for them. Like, the way they do that is. Like, I'm not understanding. Like, at the end of the day, you should not do any girlfriend or wife things for a dude that don't want no labels. Okay? If he ain't trying to make you his girlfriend and one day make you his wife, why are you doing all this? You basically wasting your time. If he asks you to cook, clean his room, do that little other stuff that I'm not gonna say on here because kids might be watching. But all that other stuff, and you not his girlfriend, just hit that dough. Run, run, okay, run. But yeah, I just feel like if you're doing it now with no labels, you're never gonna get a label and you're just gonna be sitting four years from now screaming how you want to be a girlfriend and he gonna be like well you you basically gave me everything so what's the point which honestly what is the point if you gave him everything i'm like might as well just stay the girl he talked to at this point honestly a dude that tells you that and then it's so crazy because half the dudes that tell you that end up in a relationship like three months later and you like what i've seen it with my own two eyes I'm, I'm not lying to you all of these things that i'm telling you is because of based on things i've seen or experienced okay i would tell you no lies so he might not want some relationship with you but i guarantee you he'll go get in a relationship with somebody else and then you'll just be sitting over there all like, But he told me he didn't want a relationship two weeks ago. Yeah, and you was a clown if you believed it. I don't remember what number I'm on. I'm gonna just like throw them out to you. But I'm kind of almost getting to the end of this. But the, the next one that I have that is very important in any relationship is communication. Something that a lot lack, okay? And I can't really talk because I'm bad at communicating and i'm trying to do better okay so don't be too harsh on me but i feel like when you like someone 
you want to talk to them you want to see how their day is going you want to see what they're doing now i'm not saying text each other what you doing like every five minutes because that's weird and that honestly is like a big turn off to me like there's nothing else you want to talk about if not i'm gonna go go on with my day okay but yeah like i feel like someone that you like y'all should at least speak at least once depending on how busy y'all are now me i work and i also go to school so me i kind of have maybe like an hour or two into my day where i can have like a full out conversation with somebody the rest will be like a little text every maybe hour or so because i'm like doing homework or i'm working so i can't just oh have my phone in my hand or oh just pick up the phone and call you and talk to you the whole time so i mean i feel like when you like each other or if a guy likes you he's gonna try to communicate with you if he is not calling you if he is not texting you if he is not facetiming you or whatever or if y'all talk like once a month i'm gonna just let you put two and two together and i hope you came up with something that made sense but yeah if he's not talking to you every day fall back because i definitely do like <laughs> first of all honey if you're trying to like me it does not come easy over here i am hard to get i gotta see something like i need to to know that you put in the effort and if i even feel like and a lot of times i like assume things if i assume that you're not putting in effort i fall back even if you think you putting in every ounce of effort in your body, I'm going to fall back if I feel like you're not. It's okay. So, if he is not trying to communicate with you, if he is not trying to talk to you, it's time to fall back. And of course, some guys, they rather see you in person and talk to you. They Some, some people don't like texting. Some people don't like talking on the phone. Me... I'm bad at both. Like, so, hmm, you just gotta talk to me when you talk to me. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I, I really am bad at both. But if I like somebody, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text. Um, but for real, if y'all not communicating every day, and I'm not saying all day, every day, but at least if he don't tell, tell you good morning, every day at least it's a good morning at least y'all talk a little bit but if he ain't doing none of that stuff let him go so the next one that i would say is very very important is if you have to keep repeating yourself a lot of times there's things that you want or things that that needs to be changed and you tell a guy that and then they don't change they don't want to change if they don't want to change for you they don't care about how you feel so that that's like you need to just fall back if he if you sit there and you like well we we don't really get to see each other a lot and he doesn't try to make an effort to see you more or oh we don't talk to each other as much and he doesn't make an effort to talk to you don't take him serious okay don't because i don't but yeah honestly i think that was the last one i could come up with but if y'all have any more comment them down below let us know some other red flags to know a guy's just not into you because if he does all of those that i just said he's definitely not into you so you need to run you need to go before things get ugly because no we don't got time for that but yeah i feel like all in all if a guy is putting in effort he's trying to get to know you and learn you if he's respecting you 
and everything if he's understanding and he's openly communicating with you i feel like you good because i mean when you first start talking to somebody it's not gonna be like perfect you gotta learn what each other likes learn what each other dislikes Figure out what's the best way of communication for y'all. Figure out, you know, what's going to work for y'all. But if you're not willing to figure out, if you're not willing to put in the effort, then there's no point in even trying, honestly. Because in a relationship, you got you to gotta both put in something. It can't just be a one-sided thing. So if it's one-sided, sorry, but it's probably not going to get better. It's probably going to get worse or other things are going to happen and makes you end up having to be stuck and nah, we don't want that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of my other videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, why haven't you? Go ahead and join the fam. We're only going up from here. That's pretty much it. So yeah, like I said, comment down below anything that you feel like should have been added to this video or that you personally feel like guys do that shows they don't like you or they're just not into you. But make sure you go watch my last video. I'll try to have some more videos out. I'm trying to put out more videos and content for y'all. So also comment down below any video ideas that you have so I can do them for you. But that's it, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, y'all.